Welcome back everybody to day two of our spirit fair exercise and play. Um, it is 10.22 a.m. Uh, we are going to start momentarily. So last time we left off with um, just heading over to buy some seeds i forget the location but we'll find out as soon as i press this continue button um so yep there we go oh okay so there's a boat here me where am i Why is there a boat here? What? Where am I, actually? Gwen, can you tell me? Let me check my map. We are... Oh, it's not even telling me on the map what it is. It's just a, <clears throat> a landmark of some sort. gonna pop in some fishies because why not it takes a long time anyways oh and my I know I need to go to hummingbird so I'm gonna get the hummingbird destination started so that it can progress while we do all of our other tasks cool okay <clears throat> oh yeah, so as usual, I am on my exercise bicycle while I'm doing this. Uh, this Let's Play of Spirit Fair. So I will give you guys update every time, like once in a while, once we have a downtime. A good stopping point to say where we're at with our bike so we'll do that oh what are you oh we're already here what a short trip that was hummingbird this hummingbird discovered pretty You gonna come with me? Oh yeah, she did say she would come with me. Because the raccoon is devious. We're here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. Oop, sorry. Oh, I like this place. Can I go indoors? Oh. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden? Maybe a pool? I'm not asking for much. Just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. I just wanted to go in the house. It looks like there's something on the second, uh, third level there. Oh, okay, cool. Like, you can't actually see, but there's platforms there. I just jumped for fun. I got two carrot seeds and one turnip seed. See, there's another thingy in there. Hmm. I simply adore your hat. Our local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage wares. Seeds, logs, hmm. rocks, all useless items. I need me a hat like yours. Carrot seed and turnip seed again. I wonder if I... Oh, cool. And then this time I can actually go out here. And have a nice relaxing time with my daffodil. Oh, oh so maybe if I'm playing co-op with someone, they can sit with me. Neat. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't actually try this before. Oh, <laughs> I fell down. 
Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects, objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fair and the Everlight. I've heard that this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use the old balls to activate it. But to get old balls, you need to walk more spirits onto your ship. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. Okay, so the shrine says I get a new double jump ability. But it requires two old balls. Alright. Oh. Almost missed this door. What's that? But how do I get you? Huh? Huh? Interesting. No, there's a thingy up there. I would like said thingy. Interesting. Can I jump up on these light fixtures? Ah, here. Hmm. There's Theodore. Go ahead. Take a look at what he's selling. What the f- Yo, I've got 920 seed, I mean, glimps. The heck are these prices? Oh, that's right, she mentioned that he was devious. Do so, she's probably gonna talk him down. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing Hummingbird since forever. You've got the glimpse, I've got the goods. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glimpse. Step right up. You jerk. Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Good, let's do this. Theodore? I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. Mm. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. Oh, what? Madam, what is the meaning of this? Mm. My friend here is the new Spearfair, but she's not a newbie, and neither am mm. I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But I... I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Mm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses. Mm. Just fair prices. I... I... So stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. And you start being smarter. Mm. Got it? But, yes. Yes, of course. I promise you, I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Wow. Gwen really did obliterate him. Wow. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some help. You both look like you could use... You could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your mm. eyes. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool, being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanely high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. Mm -hmm. But some other idiot lost the key. Well. Anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever! <laughs> I had fun with that one. Okay, so Theodore should have more decent prices now. The key to Hummingbird opens the door next to the broken ladder. Okay, it still costs 5000 I'll just acquire... I'll go through the story, acquire a second person to give me old balls, get double jump, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I wonder if it tells me somewhere how many I currently have, because I know I do have 
some seats and I want to prioritize prioritize my goods. I think I can afford three. Hmm. One and one. Two and two. Three and three. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. If you got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. All right, lady. That's the locked door there. Okay. So I really need that double jump. <clears throat> oh. I'm sorry. I'm in a bit of a rush. All right, chill. I'm going home. Don't follow me. Please. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Listen. I just don't want junk mail. <laughs> Fair. A stroll a day keeps the doctor away. Which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no. Why did I think of... Why did I think about health all of a sudden? I suddenly starting to feel unwell. I'm not sick. I'm okay. Chill. It's okay. It's just a ruse. If you think you're sick, it's... Well. Oh. It's mind over matter, you know? Think happy, healthy thoughts and you'll be fine. Let's go home. Oh, actually, I'm gonna give you a hug. Mm. Oh, what? No hug? Okay, let's go home then. Jeez. Just wanna give you a hug. Oh, yeah, my food. Shit. Fudge. Okay, at least we know it didn't burn. That's good. <clears throat> Do I have anything else to cook? Nope. I'm, I kind of have a bunch of fish right now, so... I'm gonna leave it at that. And... Is Gwen here? Is she sleeping? Okay, good. <clears throat> the thing won't let me navigate because it's too dark and I'm too lazy to fish. Therefore, I will sleep until morning. Not nigh. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> this is where I'm supposed to head to next. She hasn't spoken to me yet. Well, let me just say hi to her real quick to see if there's something she'd like me to say um, to go specifically. Wake her ass up first. <clears throat> oh, that's the path you took this time? Oh, way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me, which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find, an, find new people. Not that I don't love the idea that just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit fair and spirit fairers find spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a lot of place not far from here, where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Go. Let's sail. Okay. So we're gonna go there. Let us do... Oh, we've got to do a quick water. Water, water, water. Sorry, Gwen. Got to tend to my plants. Thank you kindly. Oh, it's raining. Aw, oh, man. I wish I'd known. I really wanted to have seen whether or not the rain water would have watered my plants for me. 
Oh, it doesn't look like she likes the rain. That's funny. I will give you some comfort food, though. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Oh, she's already at her happiest. She does not need a hug. Oh, although, I do want to check, because in most games, raining... When it's raining, there's different fishies. <clears throat> the same fishy. We've got herring as per usual. Let me try one more time, although it's no longer raining. Hmm. That's fine. <clears throat> Old shoe. Okay. Update. We have been going at this for 13 miles. Oh, sorry. 3.06 miles. Um, calories lost is 74.5. And time is 14.50. So we've arrived at our destination. Let's go meet this new person that she wants us to meet. In... In... Barkheim something? <clears throat> oh! Thank you, Daffodil. Get this guy too. Oh, this one's taking a while longer. <clears throat> oh, there he is. Right after this tree. Hey! Oh! Great! You're here! Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. I just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. It's been quite... It's been eating delicious berries all my day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus in these wild fruits. Now it's just berries with no twists. Unless... It's just down there. In the water. I'll do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. If you say so. I found it! That's the one! I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on the lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me? This island is fresh out of it. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help you out aboard your ship. We're cooking, fishing, building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it too much. Let's just go to your boat. Alright, bud. Let's go. Why are you talking so fast? I don't know. Don't talk so fast. I can't read that fast. I'm gonna make lots of mistakes. Let's go. Oh, you've got a blue exclamation mark. K -k 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 cool. Stella, can't you hear me, Ella? You're putting me. Okay. Oh wow, this boat is amazing. Here comes the real cooker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. What kind of animal are you? I hope I gave you an appropriate voice for the character that you are. It's a blue froggy. Shoot. Ah, it's too late. It's me, Stella. Your uncle. A toot. Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights as... The sights to see with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's have sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is that a... Hmm, what are you excited about? The kitchen? Nope. That? Nope. Fishing, of course. He's a froggy. He loves fish, I think. 
I knew it. That's a Seamaster 2000. I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard about it in rumors. Apparently, you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, fella. You sure know how to treat yourself. What a du- Wait a darn second. You're missing a few boats. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Okay. Let's see. What you got for me, bud? Uncle Atoll? Atoll. Atoll. Oh shit! My thing is turning red. Oh my god. I thought you hooked me up with a better fishy thing. Oh, a squid. Yes, I got a squid for you. Come on, little buddy. <laughs> no, I guess just tapping the square button won't work. Well, what is this, man? Freaking shark? Shit. Better not be a boot. I'll give them a boot. A cod. Oh, don't get me started about Call of Duty. Let's go try and fish up more cods. Hopefully it's a cod. I wonder what kind of different fish dishes I can make. We're gonna get another Call of Duty? Or a squid? Come on! Feels like a cod, tastes like a cod, smells like a cod. Is it a cod? Fudge! <laughs> Great job, Sprout! They never shoot a chance! You sure to mess around. That's what makes you a pro! All this ace level fishing has got me all rattled up. Which reminds me. I had a shiny thing in my pocket on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very, very salty. Well, I'll go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. I got the old ball. Uh-huh. You're full, but I would like to hug you, my uncle. Oh, what a cozy froggy. A little hug always oh, brightens my day. Oh, that's good. I wonder what his favorite food is. How about fish? Oh boy! I just love food. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. Let's see. This likes nothing. Oh, perfect. What a great happy-go-lucky guy. Likes everything, but he does have a favorite, which we have yet to know. Oh, are these ready? They look bigger than before. Oh, cool. I get two per harvest. All right. We'll do one more linen. And one more co uh, not corn. We'll water them. Oh, okay. I didn't actually realize see, that the, the soil turns a dark color. You've got two old balls, remember? The shrine in Hummingberg? I'd try them out. I'd try them there. If we're lucky, I might, might, it, might be do some, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Okay, first we can make some coffee. I bet you'd like that. <clears throat> Ooh, coffee doesn't take very long at all. Awesome possum. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. Okay, well, we'll head back to Hummingburg. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to get some more fishing out of the way. 
But in the meantime, let's do a quick update. All right, so I've been going at this for 23 minutes and 39 seconds. Um, the distance currently is at 4.99 miles, so let's just say 5 miles, and 120 calories lost. Oh, and it's raining. Perfect, I wanted to test that thing. With thunder. Oh. It's gonna be good. Just gotta make sure I don't break my line this time. Come on. Yes. A mackerel! But I do want to see what my uncle wants. Stella, quick! This is what I call a storm! Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. What? Get the Everlight, it'll protect you. Lightning bolts will, ca will cast sparkles. Where they're about to hit, rush towards those. Ah, I almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? If you hit, get hit by lightning on an empty bottle, you get lightning in a bottle. Is that bananas? This world. Lightning in the bottles are a pretty handy resource to come by equip. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for a thrill of your life. Okay, so he said... Go by where it's kind of shiny. Oh, like this? Oh, I missed it. Like this? Oh, okay. Like this? Like this? Yeah. Oh, shit, I missed that one. Like this? Um... This is fun, it's like a mini game. Are we in Final Fantasy X? Where I'm supposed to avoid lightning, but I do the opposite. Because I'm a crazy person. Oh no, I don't want to miss that one. That's lucky. Oh. Yeah, I like these mini games. any more lightning in a bot I mean empty bottles so I'm just I've just been getting glimpse. I wonder if the glimpse I'm getting oh it's additive for sure. You got any more bud? Oh this, the music is over so it must be done. Oh thank goodness I wasn't sure if you're gonna make it there for a second. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush Pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning over there in the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could ever hope for. Whoa! Oh, that's awesome! Again, the details. He's a frog, so he didn't need to climb the freaking ladder. That's epic! Isn't that epic? Come on, it's epic. Write in the comments below if you think that was epic. Do it. Comment. Epic! What am I gonna get this time? Another mackerel. Okay, another mackerel. Alright, I think it's just gonna keep on raining forever and ever. We got anything new to cook? Okay, let's try that. Okay, it is done. Oh! Wait. Oh, the one eel gave me two grilled fish. Interesting. Let me just check that out real quick. Oh, I didn't actually look at this captain's log thing. Mailbox. Uh. Oh. Oh, the linen is done, it looks like. So, I think... Um... I think these plants legit grow based on time, like actual time passed, and not just like days. So if I plant it right at midnight or whenever the day is considered to be transitioning over to the next, 
it won't just magically grow a few minutes later just because I'm in the midst of transitioning over to next day. It's legit time passed. So that's interesting because I don't think time has passed and my linen grew. I'll have to verify that. I don't know. Um, let's go do a quick sleep salute. And also I enjoy that the, the rain, the weather didn't just magically change just because the day has passed. So I really appreciate stuff like that. Anyways, let's go get our double jump. Oh, we're on our way to get our double jump. And I want to go back to Albert to upgrade our ship. Because I think if I upgrade my crafting table, I'll be able to build more things to make use of the linen I'm growing. So we'll do that. Hmm. Might as well cook some shite. I've got a squid here. Let's go cook it. Oh, pretty. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm relatively close to um, Hummingbird. Oh gosh, it's still a while for it to finish. I hope I make it in time. <clears throat> oh. There was that house early. Oh, perfect. We gonna get our double jump, yeah! <clears throat> oh, nice! Okay, let's go, um... Be gone, stranger! Okay. Oh, hold on. Nope. How do I get that then? Oh. Hey, Gwen. What are you doing? Mm. Now this is one damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I, I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, but this is certainly my favorite of them all. Thank you very, very much, Stella. Can I hug you? Oh, yay. Hmm. Feeling much better. Yeah, she's super duper hug, super duper happy. I've got my double jump now, punk. You made it. Wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. But you're here, so I get better. I don't have a membership card for you. you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. <laughs> oh, what are you? Bleh. Oh, everything's locked in the upstairs crew. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Yes, young person. Can I assume you're busy? Of course you're busy. Wait a second. You don't have a full service kitchen. Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. Alright. I see an item up here. I want it. Oh, but I can't. It's from the outside. It tricked myself. But we can get it by going like this. See? I've got some linen seeds now. Mm. Upstairs group forever! I love the sound effect of that going down the stairs, actually. I appreciate it very, very much. Where are we heading? I'm just gonna go on an adventure real quick over here. Oh! Oh, what? 
Oh, okay. I thought I jumped onto something, but I just double jumped. <laughs> I tricked myself. What? Oh, you gave me such a fright. That cat, he looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh yes, yes it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean, Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at the sea? You come to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time, I'll be doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going then. We have some lessons to go through. Pretty. I meant this house. This house is pretty. That guy I don't know yet because I have met him. But he seems like a pretty soul. And he's gonna help me with something. Upstairs screw forever. Upstairs crew. Oh, upstairs crew. Oh, 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 upstairs crew. Hmm. Okay, so every town has its own shrine thing. So, if I want a new ability for my Everlight, I would have to find a new shrine. Makes sense. Alright, buddy, what have you got for me? First, let me go check out my squid. So I don't. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, Stella. Oh, I already forgot your voice. I might go for a more simpler voice so that my throat doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh, Stella. All this air. All this open space. Yes. I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me. I'm flowering already. What are you? You look like a snake in a in a jar or a, or an elephant. Oh, I was right. Wait, right? Oh, getting out of this chrysalis. What a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Okay, now can I get my fruit? I mean my food? I want to burn. Squid skewer noise. Oh, Stella, don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it sure could use some greenery. As an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It'll be called caring for plants from A to a, <laughs> from A to Zalia. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't ring as sound as once I said it out loud. Maybe. I need to work on a name some more. <laughs> A to Zal A to Zalia. Oh yeah, that's right, because I got some lightning in a bottle, so that makes sense. Hmm. Okay, it's too high. Hold on. Also, I wanted to make my way to Albert's shipyard. There. So we can be moving in the meanwhile. Yes, yes. Nope. What a wonderful garden. You really outdid yourself, Stella. Man, I already forgot what voice I gave him. Hmm. Well then, that makes us just about ready to start off the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. Okay. I've got carrot. I've got carrot. 
and I've got turnip. Two turnips and a carrot. Two carrots and a turnip, I mean. Okay. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you probably noticed already. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living things. For you see, a garden is a vessel for a love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island, I was lonely, so I sang to the flowers. Oh, fudge. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Goodies await. Fudge. No, no, no. Fudge. I want my crate. Aw, oh, man. I missed out on a crate. And I sacrificed my convo with what's-his-face. Okay. Cool. Hold on. I don't want to play the guitar here. I'll play here. Awesome. Good tunes, buddy. Hmm. Have I given you a hug yet, sir? Oh! Ah, you're sweet. <laughs> Hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the new spirit bearer. Happy to make your acquaintances. I am Francis. You can say I'm sort of a wandering merchant. I see, I'm very fond of things, objects, curios, chotskis. I just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? Let's see. What do you got for me to, to buy, old man? Let's buy an odd seed, because it's odd. Let's buy all the bottles I can get. And... I will sell all my shoes. Oh, this old carpet sells for a thousand. And this fiber necklace. Awesome. Errands, I don't know what those are yet. Thanks, buddy. Geez, you gotta love the sides here. I see the sun, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard a ship with you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv could see you now. Running your own ship. Helping with errands, stranded souls. You're really warm to heart. I'm glad you picked up. Picked me up on the island. I'll try to make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Except for fruit. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. Speaking of... Delicious! I had a hankering for this. Okay, we haven't found your favorite food yet. Oh, I will give you a hug though. I bet he says that to all his sneezes. The bee's knees. Oh shoot, I just realized. I hope I didn't spend any resources that I need to upgrade my stuff. Stella! 
I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I'm not a post office. You need to add a mailbox to your boat. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you. You might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at you. Get it done. Whoa, boy. Okay. So this will open up Sawmill, Loom, and Foundry. I still... Oh! I have a... So I need the Sawmill and the Loom for Shizzy to make a mailbox. Alright. Hmm. Let's just do this too, because why not? Oh, my boat is bigger! Oh, swim me, my son. There we go. Okay. Um, anybody needs watering? Oh, this is ready to harvest, though. Yeah. I'll build. Oh, I need quartz, linen, and coal. Oh, okay. Well, I can't build any of those. Shite. Am I going to be told to go somewhere? Probably. Let's go to sleep. Because I can't travel anyways. In the meantime, let us do another update. I don't remember when the last time we did one. So, we are at 49 minutes and 22 seconds time on the bike. Um, distance traveled is 10 miles. And calorie loss is 246.3. So we've got about 10 more minutes of runtime. Um, I need a place that'll give me some coal. Okay, this place has wood, ores, wood, ores, and treasures and seeds. Oh! Okay. Are we going somewhere? Well, I might as well check this guy out real quick. It's close. Stella, Stella, don't you remember? I don't eat animal product. No breast milks, nor ova. Certainly not were meant for consumption. And the meat? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry, I won't impose my choices on others, but I cannot eat that. You're a vegan. All right, that's fine. There you go. Oh, you found my weak, sweet spot, dear. I can't say no to dessert. A delightful sugary perfection. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. She's vegan. He. I love how he runs for those. Perfect! Quick, jump in the water! There's wreckage. I'm sure you'll find some helpful materials in there. You are correct, sir. Another mini game.
I wonder if this is just gonna keep going or there's an end. Am I making the plants grow? Oh, cool! Oh. Oh, neat! Oh! I pulled a little bit too hard there. Oh, that is so cool! I can make plants go faster by... Um... Playing some musical tunes to them. I love it. I wonder if that odd seed is actually something special or... It's more just like a randomized thing. Oh wait. Did we reach our destination? Okay, we did. Oh, that's what that was in there. What does that mean? Raspberries? Why is it not grayed out? Oh, that means the raspberries are back. Maple log and limestone are not. Okay, gotcha. Okay. You've upgraded your boat! Hmm, that's weird. That's a lot but he left some bolts loose. He was probably just in a hurry. Give me a second, here we go! Oh, mama! That did more than I thought. Let's see here. Whoa, this boat's got some advanced options now. First off, you can travel safely and not go through all the dangers the sea has to offer. When you're using your map, just travel safe travel mode. That's simple. And don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select the destination, it won't be on. I hope that helps. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, the engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination points. That's pretty handy. Now, you can set your course and let the windows jump. Besides, it's just a bigger boat with more room. Well, have fun. Nice, thanks bud. Here we go again. I am up for it. I ain't scared. Okay. So apparently we can set multiple thingies at, at the same time now. So let's try it out. Um, cool. So perhaps... Why don't we go here, and then here, and then here. Alright. Travel. Cool. Hope that works out. That'd be awesome. having a hard time interacting with you in there, sir. Hmm. Is it gonna rain? Oh! Yes, please. Oh. Finally. Have you seen this how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. They might help, if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, all of the commotion in the last few days have forgot something. Here, this is for you. This strange coin has been tickling me since I arrived here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, she's outside. Mm. You did good. Now we've got a real boat going. And you'll have to take care of these new passengers mm. now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but the sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for mm. any of us. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for mm. anything. But I think it's time to have a space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A nice space in which I could read and unwind far from the turmoil of the deck. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, I'd see something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Sure thing, lady. while either oh, wait let's go fish one time So, I've lost track of time, um, we're actually at 68 minutes and 40 seconds time on the bike, um, distance traveled 14.16 miles and calories lost is 342.5. So. The mini games have kind of taken over and I'm finally starting to get some cool people up in here and new farms. So I lost track of time gaming. So it goes to show really that like as long as you have your mind, your mind is doing something else, you're able to overcome um, some of the tiredness coming from your body as long as you're not thinking about it. And it's been really helping me out on my journey on bettering myself on this bike and I can have fun gaming at the same time so thank you again for being there to help me motivate me through this it's been really cool um, again if you guys have anything you want to ask me just comment and I would really love a like and a subscribe so I'll see you guys next time for day three of exercise while playing and we'll find out how to build the loom and the sawmill and the mailbox so that we can make our ship all nice and by the way while i'm talking i'm still biking so i'm actually still going um, but i will stop now thank you very much see you next time